What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can fix your overexposed photos to make them perfect. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so all you need to do is go ahead and choose a photo that you've by accidentally overexposed. Now this happens all of the time, especially if you're shooting a DSLR. I must say, I have always by accidentally over or underexposed. It's something that all photographers suffer from. So how can we fix this in post? Well, actually it's a lot easier than you might think. So all we need to do firstly is go ahead and just simply duplicate the background layer. So we're gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Now what we want to do is go ahead and open it up in the camera raw filter because we're gonna have more control over the exposure using the camera or filter versus using traditional Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to filter and then we're going to go ahead down to the camera raw filter. Now inside the camera raw filter we want to go ahead over to the basic sliders found on the right hand side. So we're going to go ahead and turn the details off and we're going to go ahead and turn on to basic. And what we want to do is change these main sliders here. You've got exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. So what we want to do is firstly underexpose this photo because we've overexposed it. So what we're gonna do is take the exposure slider and we're gonna go ahead and drop it down. And as you can see, most of the information is there, again, because I predominantly shot in RAW. But as you can see, it looks a little bit too dark now because you've taken away all the brightness in the highlights. So what we can do is go to the white section here. We can actually raise that up slightly. And then we can do the same with the highlights, but again, to a lesser of a degree. And then we can also fix the shadows. So we can actually take the shadows and we can go ahead and turn that down or up depending on what effect you're looking for. And then I always like adding in just a small amount of contrast. Now, once you've done all of the effects, you can then fix the overall exposure. So I still think this photo is just a smidge too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and just brighten it up ever so slightly. And again, you can always fix the white after the fact. So I'm gonna brighten up those highlights just a little bit more. Now I find if you've by accidentally overexposed a photo, you're gonna lose a little bit of the saturation. So you can fix this by going to the vibrant slider and just simply increasing the vibrant slightly. And as you can see, if I go ahead and show you the before, as you can see, very overexposed. And then if I show you the after, we have been able to bring that back. Brilliant, and there we go guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, but also subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. If you want to learn more about my two minute tutorials, I've got a playlist just up here, or if you want longer, more in-depth tutorials, I've got my Photoshop tutorials just down here. But until next time guys, keep creating.